sign up the road reads, the end is coming. The end is coming. The end is coming. The end is coming. Brace yourself and look up. The end is coming. You the end is coming. And don't be scared. That's the kind of question I was trying to ask you in the beginning, way back. Like what what type of That dominate another woman, because I've seen it before. I mean, but here's the thing. Um like I told you before, us here, we stand on the scriptural stance of right. order. I'm going to be honest with you. We believe in proper order. The man is the head of the woman. The woman is supposed to be in subjection to her husband. Simple and plain. We got, okay, that's cool. But even with sisters that come into the camp, there's got to be order. We cannot have women just coming in and just whatever, whatever. There has to be some type of order. But there's with that, there's respect. There's love for our sister, so on and so forth. So this is what we stand on. Do we believe in subject like straight dogging a sister out and woman get the hell out? You know, no, we don't get down like that. We believe in the order that's found in the scripture. Simple good, one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, some of our brothers, they be, they bugged out. But see, this is the thing. Bottom line, us waking up. That's how I tell people this so all the time. So you seen it when you went to those different places? No, no. See that camp you're talking about. They don't even really. They don't no, really they associate don't to, to me. No, no, they don't. They feel like they the ones with the truth. They don't. If you ain't dealing with them, then you ain't even in the truth. Right. Okay. You understand? But again, that issue is just not a. That issue is found in various places. But the thing is, us knowing that we Israel is only a portion of this battle. All right, walking this walk is the main portion. So when you read through the book of Acts, when you read through the book, period, you had portions of Israel that was righteous and the majority that was wicked as hell. Okay. So we can't, like even today, when you seeing brothers out there teaching all this madness and conducting themselves, wicked is all I'm doing. This is not new to Israel. This is what our people have been dealing with for since we have been chosen. Wow. So we just have to understand that and make sure that we, try, we strive to be that righteous remnant. Right. Simple and plain. And yeah, pray for these brothers that, that they, you know, and, and bring the word out to them. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared. Like some of these brothers out there teaching that madness, you got to bring it out to them if you really care. So let them know. We're going to touch on a couple of things that took place this week that uh, showing us, man, why we need to focus on salvation. All right. So we all heard what Trump said the other day, right? About about uh, the Haitians, our brothers, the Haitians, right? Mm -hmm. the, the African countries, right? He said, he said, he said, uh, why is we giving protection to these uh, whole countries? So he called the Haiti, the Haitians, the African nations, he called them shitholes, yeah. right? So they nations is nothing. They worth nothing. This is what he said. He got caught in a briefing in the briefing in the White House, yeah. and they leaked it on him. You know what oh. I'm saying? Because not everything, everybody on, even his own party, like, damn, man. Right. We don't like them niggas, but damn, you too open with it. So they, yeah. so it says right here, right? It says Trump slams protections for immigrants from S-H-I-T whole countries. Now, these Europeans are so prideful. This is why you know this is Babylon. He said he's gonna destroy the most proud. Why do I say that? These people is run, they got what they call ICE, right? The immigration secret police type. They running around snatching up all these so-called Latinos and Central Americans and Mexicanos and sending them back, right? Now they move on to the Haitians and all this other. Now he's talking about these different countries. Continuing now with our lead story, ICE raiding, targeting, criminal, illegal aliens. Joining us now from Irvine, California, Claude Arnold, retired ICE special agent who was once in charge of investigations in Los Angeles. So when you saw the local news in the Southland, as they call where you live, um, reporting on the raids, what did you think? My first reaction is it was mass hysteria, right? Uh, people being reported what actually wasn't happening. In fact, this operation was a fairly routine operation, the same type of operation they did conduct under President Obama throughout his administration. Um, but it was being characterized as something that it wasn't. And what that did was it caused hysteria. Now, this is very, very important because, first of all, the European, the first immigrant to the Western Hemisphere. So if anybody need to go back where they come from, it's them. Yes. Okay, but they don't want to deal with that. That's fine. But it says this. It says in an Oval Office meeting with lawmakers on Thursday, President Namayu, this is that secret council. This is that council of the ungodly, right? He says in an Oval Office meeting with lawmakers on Thursday, 
President Donald Trump described Haiti and African nations as sugar honey iced tea, S H I T whole countries, right? And slammed the idea of restoring protections for immigrants from those regions. So, in other words, to hell with protecting them with their immigration laws. You understand what I'm saying? Why is this important? Where did we come from? Yeah. Africa. And these are the countries he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? From different West Coast and whatever. You know what I'm saying? We came from that side of the earth. The Haitians is our brothers. So now they didn't even want to offer them protection from, you know what I'm saying, according to the immigration laws. Why is this important? Well, we know Donald Trump is crazy, right? Right. We know that. And it is really good because now we can show our people, like, look, this this is the president of the United States. This represents this system. Right. To hell with it. All right. Turn back to the most high, right? That's right. But why this is important is this. On January the 8th, President Donald Trump signed H.R. 560, H.R. 1242, so on and so forth. Now, why is this important? This is why, you know, again, our people don't deal with politics and really pay attention to the laws that's going into place. Mm -hmm. What is this? It says on Monday, January 8, 2008, the president signed into law. I'm just going to skip down to we're going to get to the crux of the matter. H.R. 1242. But notice what it is. The 400 years of African American History Commission Act. I just want to take a mo few moments to thank the House for the, the work they did recently on H.R. 1242. And I want to urge the Senate to take action on this bill as well. I saw rise the support of it. Uh, it's 1242, it's titled 400 Years of African American History Commission Act. I'm a co-sponsor of this legislation. I worked with my colleagues to pass this act in the House. Uh, thank you and good morning. I'm so thrilled to work together with my friend Congressman Scott and Senator Warner and our other colleagues here. You'll hear from uh, Congressman Butterfield right after me and then, uh, and then uh, Congressman Byer as well. And this very important bill, the 400 Years of African American History Commission Act. Yeah. Let's get a most out round of applause for Congressman Butterfield. Right. So read me that Genesis 15 and verse 13. Con, Genesis 15 and verse 13. And he said unto Abram, Know of surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. So the Most High Yahweh told our, our very first forefather, Abraham, the chosen, that know for sure, know for surety that your seed is going to be what? Shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. They're going to be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, all right? This ain't talking about ancient Egypt, all right? This ain't talking about none of those regions around there. He said, you're going to be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. And what? And shall serve them. Uh-huh. And shall afflict them 400 years. You see that? The, the, and, and our people know it subconsciously is in our spirits. But the most I got to do what? He said he got to bring it back to your recollection. So the term commemorate, they put together a, 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 the 400 year African American Commission Act to commemorate. The term commemorate means to recall. To look back, to bring to memory, to celebrate a particular event. This is the thing. This is the beauty. This is the beauty of it. This is how you know it ain't really them. The, it's the the spirit of the Most High that's moving. Because what we towards the end. So now, mind you, I pulled. This is from. This ain't no just no made up internet type sensation madness, right? This comes directly from www. You can look this up for yourself. Whitehouse.gov. Yeah, I read it myself. This you, you understand? Oh, so this is coming that. from the direct White House, you know what I'm saying, website. This ain't no made up stuff, right? So this is the House of Representatives. This is going to go along with the 400 years of African American History Commission Act. This is uh, the House of Representatives 115-105. This is their report, all right? So it says the 400 years of African-American history commission act. All right. This is to accompany HR 1242. So we're going to read the purpose and summary. Again, this is all governmental all on their websites, fully documented. Read that. The purpose of HR 1242 is to establish the 400 years of African-American history commission. See, notice that now this is their report. Now they, they it's in law, but now they're giving you the report of what this commission act is for, right? Read. This is the background and need for legislation. Uh-huh. 
The first documented arrival of Africans to English colonies occurred in August 1619. Notice. Now, I want you now, of course, a lot of our people, you know, that don't believe in the 400 years or just want to argue about the slavery thing in general say, well, we was coming to slavery before that. We was. That transatlantic slave trade was going on well before 1619. Right. But what was established, 1607, Jamestown was fully established. When they came over here and was fighting our brothers, the so-called Indians, they was catching the flux. They couldn't establish this place because they was constantly going through wars. But in 1607, it finally was put into play. 1619, it was fully chartered. The 13 colonies was fully set up by the queen. It's fully functioning. And now they start to bring us in through their corporate system under their slavery. So as a nation, they was established fully 1619. It was bringing us in through the 13 colonies. All right. So that's just the basic understanding of the history. Right. So read. When a group of approximately 20 individuals disembarked from a ship, from a ship at Point Comfort, Virginia. Uh -huh. Since slavery was not institutionalized at that point, the individuals were sold as involuntary labor or indentured service. So when we first came over here, you know what I'm saying? Of course, they were snatching a lot of us up, but a lot of our people was thinking, oh, I'm just gonna go over here and work, you know what I'm saying, my little seven years, according to the, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be all right. Even the, uh, you know, a lot of people try to make the argument that, well, the Irish were slaves and this, that. No, they came as indentured servants. Uh -huh. So they were contract to come over here and start to work this new land you understand what i'm saying and after that seven years or whatever the contract was they will be free that's what happened with the irish that was over here that was so-called slave they was really indentured service but they got free They're not us we went into straight up chattel slavery you understand read and told they will work under contract for a certain period of time before being granted freedom and the rights of other settlers uh -huh. the most marked uh, this moment marked as a painful but uh, significant time in colonial America when Africans were uh, taken against their will, transplanted, and committed to to lives of slavery. You see, that's so one of the Africans. It was actually Israelites that were us that was dwelling on that continent of so-called Africa. You understand? So read on. August 2019 will mark 400 years since that initial entrance in uh the initial entrance to the colonies, mm -hmm. H.R. 1242, establishes the 400 Years of African American History Commission. So this is why this is so important. This is why I kept mentioning keep salvation in the mm -hmm. forefront of your mind, okay? Because, again, we, are, are we saying the Mashiach is coming back after? No, we're not saying it. But what we are pointing out is there's certain prophecies that's put in play that are starting to come to pass, that's getting ready to lead us into the wilderness, that's getting ready to lead you into to Israel going home. So when, at, at that point, when we go through that 400 year, by the time 2020 is starting to roll around, now you want to start looking. Now you want to start paying attention. So this is why I'm mentioning, you know, we, we want to focus on salvation. Now is not the time for you to play around with this truth. Now is the time for you to seek the most high's face. Because two years go by like that. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Why are you saying two years? If it's August the 19th. Well, yeah. Because, I mean, realistically, when you look at it, if August 20th of 1619 began, you know what I'm saying? It, August it began 20th? the first. August yeah. 20th of 1619 began the first year. All right? You really have to count it just like how a baby would be born. When a baby is born, you're born, like, for example, my birthday is so-called January 16th. 1981. I went through that whole year when January 16, 1982 came. How old was I? One. I was one year. You understand right. what I'm saying? So when you count that, really, that 400 year is going to, you know what I'm saying, really mm -hmm. commence going into the 1619. After that, oh, I see. you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so just looking at it from that perspective. So again, you ain't got much time. It's not time for you to be playing around. And there's no coincidence that they chose 400 years for this particular captivity. Right. There's no coincidence. But let's finish that out. Develop and carry out activities throughout the United States to commemorate the arrival of Africans. The commission will also celebrate the contributions African Americans have made since 1619, despite the debilitating effects of slavery and racial discrimination. Did you see that? So in all reality, they about to just put on display <laughs> everything that we have dealt with from being, like I said, transplanted from one place of the earth to the next and having to deal with this destruction of our people in this captivity. Now, that's funny because the so-called Democrats back in slavery times was who? They was the slave owners. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So now here come they party now, like damn, you know what I'm saying? Because this is the thing, the Gentile, the thing that they have been fearing for the most since we've been here is that retribution. They know like, damn, we did a horrible thing. You understand what I'm saying? So now you got some of them that's trying to have a good heart. Let's, let's acknowledge what they've gone through. Uh, the 400 Years of African American History Commission Act, H.R. 1242, was referred to the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. The committee considered H.R. 1242 as a business meeting on March 28, 2017. Let's stop right there. Now, this is this this thing. Now, you want to know where it come up. It started back then. So That's they quick. were getting together, having this conversation. But this was a business meeting. So I, I want you to really think about that. Now we gotta really think about this. Yeah, you gotta think about the, the dynamics of what's going on here. You got Trump who is nothing but business. You understand what I'm saying? And then they sitting there having this business meeting and then they bring up a little 400. What's the odds? You know why? I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real. I can surmise what's really going on here. Yeah. What you think? We are their property. We're their property and what's getting ready to happen. Yeah. Them niggas about to get free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to. Brace. Like they doing everybody else, kick everybody else out, make it make you it a normal to see people getting kicked out. Right, and then uh, give them your accomplishments, and then y'all go too. There's <laughs> <laughs> some sinister stuff going on behind the scenes with this joint, but it's all good because it's really going to benefit us, right? Rita? Ordered the bill reported favorable without amendment by voice vote. So they all voted on it, right? Rita? Right. In the 114th Congress, Representative Scott introduced H.R. 4539, uh -huh. the 400 Years of African American History Commission Act on February 11th, 2016. H.R. Uh -huh. 4539 was referred to the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. Uh -huh. On July 5th, 2016, the bill had the bill as amended passed the House under suspicion by vote by voice votes. This is why Trump signed it, because it went on ahead and passed where everybody, okay, that's cool. And they signed it into law. And highlight the resilience and contributions of African Americans since 1619. Since when? 1619. I noticed that. So now they're getting ready to cross this country. They put they about to put funds into different places with nonprofits and so on and so forth mm -hmm. to educate. To, to for celebrations and all these different things about our soul journey from 1619 to 2019. What's the odds? There is no odds. This is coming directly from the most high. But what is what this is going to do? This is going to enable us to have known this truth and have been laboring in this truth. We've been talking to our people. Look, we the children of Israel, there's a prophecy, this, that, and the third. Now when the government come out and say, y'all niggas been here 400 years. Now that makes our job that much more what? Easier yeah. to show them that they the people of the book. Come. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the spirit of the Most High. So now because Israel get ready to come out of here, we get ready to go into the wilderness. You understand what I'm saying? So now it's about to go in mass. Where's the wilderness? Huh? Where's the wilderness? Wherever the Most High deem fit. But it's, it, can't, it ain't no way over here because Babylon gonna be destroyed. Huh? So we gonna get us out of here. We gonna be headed towards. I'll say that we gonna be headed east. Open up the Atlantic Ocean. We gonna. <laughs> we gonna get us out of here one way or another. Like, you understand? We uh, came here by ship. Somebody said airplanes. I mean, yeah, I need to know. Eagles was that? Good. We gonna be getting out of here one way or another. The, the fact of the matter is, we need to focus on what salvation. Salvation, so you can be counted worthy. Because if not, you're gonna die right here. It's gonna write you right here in these tombs. Simple and plain. You, that's, that's cool, that's cool right there. Matter of fact, um, yeah, yeah, read point. that, yeah, read that, read that. Okay, subparagraph C of paragraph one notes the commission is to acknowledge the impact that slavery and the laws that enforce racial discrimination had on the United States. Uh -huh. Paragraph D Wait a tasked the commission with Wait educating the public about the arrival of Africans in the- home. to do what? Educate the what? To educating the public about the arrival of Africans in the United States and the contributions of African-Americans in the United States. You see that? So they about to bring it out. It's about to be mainstream information. Y'all came Everybody. over here because it, right now, a lot of our people do not want to hear about slavery. I don't want to watch no slave movie. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to see what we did good and this, that, and the third. They don't want to hear about it. So now they get ready to bring us to the forefront. Look, y'all got brought over here. Yeah, y'all gave us some contributions and this, that, and the third and so on and so forth. But that is now the spirit of the most sides get ready to move forward and let these people know. Y'all okay. is ready. It's time for y'all to come back. Simple and plain. Let's get ready to get, you know, massive. All right, finish that up. Paragraph two the, of subsection C 
notes that the commission is to encourage civic, patriotic, historical, educational, artistic, religious, economic, and other organizations throughout the United States to organize, uh, to organize and participate in anniversary activities to expand understanding and appreciation of the significance of the arrival of Africans in the United States. Of the what? Of the significance of the arrival of the Africans in the United States. Notice that. So they know it was, it's something significant about these, these particular niggas coming yeah. over here as <laughs> slaves. You understand? <laughs> what I'm saying? Because they understand, okay, we got them people with a book. God. And no matter what we've done through our laws, our false history, like you said, robbing them of all their inventions, so on and so forth, we can't keep them down. They still here. You understand? They still here. It's about the spirit of your house. You understand? So again, focus on salvation. Read that Genesis 15, 13 wow. again, down to the 14th verse. Yeah. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. Oh and he said unto Abram, no of a surety. No for sure, as That's we say I today, to right? Go. Go no of a surety yeah. that thy seed shall be a stranger and a land that is not fair. Uh -huh. And shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. And that's what we've been dealing with. Since we stepped off of those ships in Jamestown, Virginia in 1619, it was spread from the north to the south, all the way to the west. Working as these people's servants, we have suffered nothing but affliction. Don't let nobody tell you different. My son just told me that he was in school. He got another Israelite, uh, fellow Israelite student. They sitting there, students talking about, oh, we ain't in slavery no more. Yes, you are. There is no difference. And okay, yeah, you might not have a physical yoke on your neck, but what do you got to do? You got to work every day. You understand what I'm saying? Just to make ends meet. Huh. You are paying taxes to a people. You subject to somebody else's government. You, we speak in English huh. instead of Hebrew. God. You understand what I'm saying? You got to read all these different labels on all these different food products we buy. This is nothing but slavery. And it's the worst slavery we in now because now it's almost like, like that story of the elephant with the, with the chain around his joint. Yeah. Train as a baby, you got to put the chain on him and he like, oh, after a while, mm -hmm. and when he get full grown, mm -hmm. you take the chain off or put a little one on him, that right. little tongue, yeah. you know where to stay. Can snap. And that's exactly where we are. So he can snap it he can snap if he it. wanted to. Our people right now can break out of this. If we turn to the Most High right. as a nation for real tomorrow, <laughs> this place would decide would fall. It's Let's see. Now they get ready to try to commemorate this 400 years. They, these people behind the scenes, they know our time is up. You know what I'm saying? This empire finna get getting ready to be destroyed. All right, read, read the 14 verse. This is what our people got to look forward to. Verse 14. And also that nation. Whom they shall serve, will I judge? That will what? Will I judge? So that nation that that said that nation. So a lot of our people, oh, well, it, you know, that four hundred years from Egypt, this it wasn't Egypt. And we, what we gonna do? Probably, uh, probably go through it next week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna show. We're gonna show and prove that that four hundred years was not recorded in our biblical script. Uh -huh. That it was a future prophecy, and it's easy to show. We'll go through that record and show that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But he said that nation, singular, that's single, right? Uh -huh. That ain't the whole world. So that's not talk. Israel went to the four corners of the earth, right? In all countries. Yeah. So this 400 years is talking about one particular nation that's pointed out. Uh -huh. You know what I'm my saying? My man, daughter of my The daughter of Babel, absolutely. He said that nation, I will do what? I will judge. Uh -huh. And afterwards, shall they come out with great substance. You see that? Mm -hmm. Most I go judge and we coming out with great substance. Mm -hmm. You know, and one of the main substances that we coming out is what? Knowing who we are, knowing who our power is, knowing how to serve him. You understand? And eventually we taking all the riches of these Gentiles. You understand what I'm saying? Let's close it out with the book of Baruch chapter two, verse 34. So this is why I was saying earlier, constantly put that term salvation in the center of your mind. Baruch two and 31. And shall know that I am the most high their power. For I will give them an heart and ears to hear. And this is what the Most High is doing with us. This is why we know who we are. This is why we know the Most High. He's giving us ears to hear, you know, and a heart to seek him. You understand? Ooh. And, they sh and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. They shall do what? And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And do what? And think upon my name. You see that? And that's what we're doing every day. And even more, as they these days go come in and go out, praise you, Yahweh. Bahasham Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Because the Most High is worthy to be praised, like we read in Psalms 18. And look at what we got before us. Our redemption coming, y'all. 
Think about that. Hell of a yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this place is almost finished, man. Like this, I mean, for real, when I seen that, I was excited. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like, okay. Yeah. No more slip ups, brother. Talk, Get it talk. together. Right? Read. And return from their stiff neck. And that's what we gotta do. Your neck stiff, unstiffen it. Mm -hmm. Right? Get it right, read. And from their wicked deeds, uh -huh. for they shall remember the way of their fathers. We got any wicked deeds, any wickedness in your heart, man? Rebuke it, man. When you read about your wicked forefathers, look at where they messed up and don't do it. Follow the footsteps of your righteous forefathers, right? Read. Uh -huh. Which sinned before the Most High. Which did what? Which sinned before the Most High. The book of Amos, we read, Amos 9 and 10 said, what? He gonna kill all the sinners with the swords of his people. He ain't playing, right? Read. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be masters over it. And they shall be what? Masters of it. Say, you see that? He said he going to bring us back into our land that he promised to our forefathers and we going to be lords of it. Right now, Donald Trump, the so-called Jew, Ishmael, Moab, Ammon, all these other nations over there is masters of our land. Parting it up. Oh, well, you take this. Yeah, you take yeah, the yeah. Gaza Strip. You take the Golden Heights mm -hmm. and all this other madness. Well, I'm going to make Jerusalem the capital of the so-called Jew. And I'm going to move the United States oh Embassy there. Gosh. This is what these people have done. Listen, they top they, rabbis know that they ain't the people yeah, of the book. They and then they see what's going on around them. They know that. Okay, the damn, these goddamn Israelites. Iran. They do know. Everybody, they, everybody want a piece of them. Because they know, okay, these y'all ain't the ones. Look, we the most surprised by this information. Yeah, what? Exactly. We are the most surprised. The, the, rest of, the, the rest of the people are not surprised about this information. Everybody else knows. So called, talking about the so called Chinese claiming to be Manasseh and all this yeah. other man. Get the heck out of here. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. We got people that's in China, different portions of that region. We know that. But then you see them people coming here. Oh, no, I've seen that video years ago. Like, oh, oh you've seen it before? <laughs> Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. He said that we going to be lords of our land, right? Read. And I will increase them, uh -huh. and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, uh -huh. and they shall be my people. And I will what? And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. And that's a future tense right there. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah, y'all, man. You the most high, y'all around the world, man. Keep salvation at the forefront of your mind because okay. redemption of Yasha Allah, aka Israel, is drawing near. Either you're gonna do right and make it out of here, or you're gonna die right here in this y'all forsaken place. We it's gotta keep place. this law, man. We gotta stop stop compromising this law. Oh, oh well, that was then, and we did that. Mm. We gotta stop all that, man, for real. I mean, man, think about this, y'all. What's the odds, man? They could have yeah. told 500 years, yeah, exactly. 600 years of African American history. They could have, they could have, you know what I mean? They could have chose anything. They could have chose anything. But you're gonna choose 400 because they know it's almost over.